kidding everyone, but seriously, uh, wear some gloves and some eye protection because copper sulfate actually irritates your skin uh, compared to, you know, baking soda. Man, gotta be careful with every chemical. Um, but anyway, uh, we're gonna be making anhydrous copper sulfate today. It's a pretty useful chemical in the lab. Well, any anhydrous salt because you don't have to worry about water content in the, in the reaction. So, uh, first step is to weigh out some copper sulfate pentahydrate, and we're just going to weigh out a, a set amount. Let's do 20 grams. 20 grams sounds pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's weigh that out. Here's what it looks like before the water is toasted out. Okay, maybe not 20 grams. Let's do 15, 13 grams. That's good. Now that I got my professional lighting out, you can see the copper sulfate pentahydrates blue color, and we're just gonna bake that baby out. Uh, I'm, re I'm referring to the, the, the color. Let me get a nice macro shot for you. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, so I brought my copper sulfate sample into um, uh, uh, the lab, the, the, the preparation room, yes. Yeah. And now I'm going to spread it out on this aluminum foil to make sure that the water evenly evaporates. I don't really want to heat it in a crucible because it sometimes has uneven heating and the copper sulfate might decompose into copper sulfide and that's really inconvenient and then your pretty white powder turns into like a grayish powder. Okay, so let's spread it out on the aluminum foil. Don't worry about the copper sulfate eating into the aluminum foil. Just spread out. And now we load it into our black and decker lab oven with crumbs of science on the glass if you're wondering what heat to set it at um don't no just kidding uh set it to uh toast degrees kelvin and uh, for about half a square okay <laughs> okay so here's our anhydrous copper sulfate as you can see, I might have over dehydrated it a little bit, but here's the anhydrous copper sulfate compared to the pentahydrate form. So let's mass the anhydrous copper sulfate. Here it is, as promised. Okay, so our final mass is 9.14 grams. How about we do a few tests with it? First test, a drop of water on it. The first is our control. Here's the water. Here's the copper sulfate pentahydrate. Let's see what happens when we add it. Oh. And it wet the copper sulfate. Next up, anhydrous. I'm gonna do the anhydrous copper sulfate on this black background and also with my macro lens. This is my regular lens. Get the macro out in a little bit, one sec. Now observe how this is different from the hydrated copper sulfate and water. It's supposed to fizzle.
Okay, now let's test some alcohol dried ethanol. So what I mean by test is we're going to put some on this dish and drop some anhydrous copper sulfate on it. So if it doesn't change color, then that means it's quite anhydrous alcohol. Oh wow, really not any color change. So here's a comparison in color. Just got a little greener. That's really good for me.